Then there was trouble. They had arrived at the smelter's yard. Next to them were Harry and Bert. What are you doing here? laughed Harry. A, a diesel rail car coming to the smelter's yard. Stevens and Bridges looked around. This isn't the seaside, said Bridges. It's not even a good time for our football, said Bridges. This is your fault, said Lorna. And he was pushing Laura back. Yours, said Laura. And she pushed back even harder. Harry and Bird watched as Laura and Lorna were bumping backwards and forwards. Stop, they called. You're going to cause an accident. But it was too late. Lorna pushed Laura as hard as she could and bumped into a truck and off the track. Now they were stuck. Bridges and Stevens were worried. We'll never get to the seaside now, they moaned. And it was all Laura and Lorna's fault. They felt terrible. Just then, Thomas arrived. He had brought the fat controller to the smelter's yard. Laura and Lorna, he said, what are you doing here? We're sorry, sir, said Laura. We were only trying to find the right route to the seaside, added Lorna. We're okay, Granddad, said the children. But are they new? Of course, said the fat controller. They are new. Maybe they're sometimes not used to this sort of thing. Like losing their way, laughed Bert. Harry and Bert, I heard that, said the fat controller sternly. You will get back to work. Yes, sir, said Harry and Bert. And they rode away. Thomas, said the fat controller, you will show Laura and Lola the way to the seaside. Yes, sir, said Thomas. And the fat controller and his grandchildren climbed aboard Laura and Lola's coach. I follow me, you two, said Thomas. Thank you, Thomas, said Laura. You're a good helper, said Lana. Off we go. And they both set off a At last they arrived at the Seastar Station. And soon the beach were, were full of happy holiday makers. The fat controller and his grandchildren were having a lovely time. Well done you two, said, Laura, said Thomas. You are really useful. Laura and Anna were very proud. You know Lorna? said Laura. When we pull together and work together, we could be a really useful engine, said Lorna. And everyone were very pleased. <laughs>